everybody. So today's video is about my favorite music, which is something very near and dear to me. I'm one of those people who turns on music to go drive places, to walk around the house, to fold the laundry, to unload the dishwasher, to take a shower, when I go to the store, when I run, when I'm walking on campus. I like obsessively listen to music. Without it, I just feel like I'm trapped with my own thoughts and like that's terrifying. My top favorite band right now and has been for about four years now is The Strokes. I love them. I'm actually going to see them in Atlanta uh, at the Shaky Knees Festival. I'm probably going to actually spew tears out of my face uh, because wow. So second would be Julian Casablancas, um, his first album, Phrases for the Young, and his second album, Tyranny, which he did with the band called The Voids. Um, I love me some jewels, some Jay Cassa. Do, do, okay, moving on. Um, se uh, third, not second, we've got Albert Hammond Jr. Uh, he's the guitarist for The Strokes, and he's fantastic. He did, oh, I'm cheating and looking at the album name, Yours to Keep, and... Uh, Como Te Yama. Como Te Lama. I'm gonna go with Como Te Lama because that one's better. I know it's Como Te Yama. You don't have to tell me. I know. Next, we've got Bastille. I kind of caved and went with um, my heart on that one. I heard um, the song... I heard Haunt. I heard Haunt, which is their um, one of their singles like a couple of years ago and I just, I was like sucked in and I love them. I don't care if they're mainstream, I don't care if they're popular. They're, I, I love them. I think the lyrics are just beautiful and his voice is amazing. So I like the shins, but I'm not obsessed with them. I think they've got cool lyrics, but some of their, their music kind of lacks the depth that I look for in listening to bands over and over. Like I get kind of tired of them, but initially I do like the shins. Oh, Simon Garfunkel. They're just, they're good. I mean, amazing. Amazing harmony, amazing voices. Um, really good. So another band that's really, really good that I hadn't heard of um, before the past like year um, is Tame Impala. I think they're from Australia. They're so good and they're just, they have this incredible unique sound. Um, not really lyric driven music. It's more instrumental. It's really good. There are some lyrics, but it depends on which song you're listening to. I do love the Foo Fighters. Love the Foo Fighters a lot. I'm currently listening to Echo Silence, Patience and Grace a lot on my phone because it's, it's pretty good. Um, and In Your Honor, both the hard and soft albums. Sounds kind of weird, but you know how it goes. Um, other favorites include the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I've seen them live twice and I got to see um, Anthony Kiedis forget the lyrics to his own song. It was Throw Away Your Television off the album by the way and he started it and then he just like stopped singing in the middle of the song and Flea was like give him a break you know he he's a busy guy and then they started the song over and it was fine but it was rather interesting he must have been tired or something else um the Beatles hello I think the Beatles were the first band that I remember when I was really small like six five or six I literally remember this listening to them watching them watching their movies, loving them. They are a classic, of course. They are the fundamental band for music today. Um, Helter Skelter was so ahead of its time. So definitely, definitely the Beatles. I do like some Daft Punk. Um, I go through periods where I listen to them for like a couple weeks and then I'm done, but I definitely do like Daft Punk. Just thought I'd throw that one in there. I love the Flaming Lips. <laughs> they're just a cool band. They're so, they're so unique and weird. Can't help but love him. John Frusciante, he's a really good solo artist, some of it. I like about two of his albums. Shadows Collide with People is really good and I forgot the other one. Um, he's the guitarist, he was the guitarist for the Red Hot Chili Peppers, he's not anymore. This video is way too long. Whatever. You ask for it, Ch -ch checkmate. <laughs> I'm blaming it all on you. That's all I have, basically. Look through this whole baby. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I apologize that it's so long. I do love a lot of bands. So that's, it is what it is. Anyway, bye. Have a good week or weekend or whatever. Bye. As you've heard of it, it's amazing. It's ridiculous, but it's amazing. Season one was better than season two. Um, Sherlock is like, I mean, come on, it's better than Cumberbatch. I don't need any other reason to see it.